Spectacular seven singles game.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Live Highline in the Magic City on the Highline Channel. I'm Stu Nyman. As always, I'm joined by Andrew Blackman. And together we will cover every point played in our Pelota performance today. All, mutual, all Mutuals wagering is now open on today's eight game performance. Each of today's eight games will offer win place show, Kinella Exacta, and Trifecta wagering. We also have one daily double that begins in game one. The Mighty Ocho also begins in game one. Play the Mighty Ocho, correctly pick the winners of games one through eight. We have two pick threes, an early pick three and a late pick three. We also have The high five jackpot. High five is a pick five wager that begins in game three. Correctly pick the winners of games three, four, five, six, and seven. If you do so, do so correctly and have the only ticket that does so, you'll cash in on the high five for today. Online wagering is available at watchandwager.com or if you're in the state of Connecticut, mywinners.com. However, placing a bet is not necessary. In order for you to enjoy all that we have in store for you today, we do have two scratches in today's performance. Once again, today's performance has two scratches. Robin and Ikeda are scratching all their scheduled appearances today. This will be a complete rundown of the scratches of Robin and Ikeda as they affect today's performance in its entirety. There are no scratches in game one. There are no scratches in game two. Beginning game three, post one, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julen. Game three, post one, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julen. Game three, post two, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Kubala. Game three, post two, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Kubala. Game four, post one, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julen. Game four, post one, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julen. Game five, post three in the front court, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Diaz. Game five, post three, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Diaz. Game six, post seven, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Nicholas. Game six, post seven, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Nicholas. Filing game seven. First in post two, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game seven, post two, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game seven, post eight, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderla. Game seven, post eight, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderla. That is a complete rundown of the scratches of Robin and Ikeda as they affect today's performance in its entirety. So with all that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to make your wagers as early as possible within scheduled post times and sit back and relax post time. For game one is now just seven minutes away. Andrew, how are you? Hello, Stu. Well, I'm doing well here. Back to close out another week of Magic City High Life. Full day, Peloto followed by a little bit of Group 2 H2H singles. I'll be at 5 p.m. When you are growing up, could you ever have imagined that someone would give you all this money just to work three days a week? Oh, that's right, you don't. You work five days a week, don't that's, you? That, that hurt. Yeah. That, Sorry. That, that was a gut punch. Sorry. To start. So, yeah. let me change that up. Forget that I said that. Have, I never envisioned that I would get all this money for working three days a week. Must be nice, isn't it? I was going to say. <laughs> Three days a week. That's right. If you Brinks truck comes every if you, Wednesday if, night if, to your if, house. If you, yeah. Oh, you get a Brinks truck? No, you. I don't. One time I was there. Wow. That had nothing. We were sitting so enjoyably looking at your beautiful briefcase collection, and then we just hear this you loud truck backing you, up. and it, you still, I know that's the son, of, because the son never, of a biscuit. Is that you, the Brinks truck? You've never, seen, you've never seen that. Meanwhile, I walk into your place. What are there? There's four big screens right there. I, big screen four, is... Four big screens. That's an old well, How do you quantify... We used, we used to use that. Yeah. Anything bigger than 40-some-odd inches. Or actually anything bigger than maybe 50. People forget it's corner to corner with the television. So it's a well, and yeah. you are on, you are in a corner unit in Brickell. You are, you are in a corner unit. You got so a good deal. You have folks. all yeah. those windows that you just have sliding glass doors everywhere. I, Basically, it's a lot a of windows. Living, it's yeah. a living room with sliding glass doors. People can like see it. It's kind of creepy. How actually. much Windex does Jeeves go through? Oof. 
a, a bottle a week at the beginning. It's gotten a little bit better now, but he does windows well. He does. There was a time when people in his position didn't do windows. That's an old line. From the, the I don't, show, I, you I, don't I, know. I, I, can't, yeah. I just remember years ago. So I do this, this, and this, but I don't do windows. From someone. Well, we got five minutes to go until game number one. Stu mentioned a couple of those scratches. Now, as we do before the first game of all of our performances, take a look at this video that will explain the scoring format for all of our games, which today is every day is Spectacular 7 scoring. Spectacular seven singles games are played with eight players. Each player wears a different color jersey numbered one through eight on the front. These numbers are traditionally referred to as post numbers. Post numbers are used to signify the order in which the athletes will play in a game. These numbers are also used for betting purposes. Don't be confused by the numbers on the back of our jerseys. Those are just for fun. Each game begins when the player in the post one red jersey serves to the player in the post two blue jersey. The served ball must land between the four and seven lines marked on the court's side wall. If the ball lands between those lines, the serve is good and play continues until one of those two players wins that matchup. The player who loses the matchup exits the court and waits for his next turn at the end of the rotation. It's important to note that every game has two rounds. The first seven matchups in a game make up round one. Each matchup in round one is worth one point. Round two refers to all matchups that take place after the seventh and final matchup of round one. The number of matchups in round two varies from game to game. And in round two, each matchup is worth two points. The first player to earn seven points wins the game. And we are back here now, three minutes away from game number one. Look at all this enthusiasm in the chat. Bob K was first out of the shoot to say hi. Steve M, as always. Mr. Smart, yeah, sorry about that, Bob. Uh, no. Yeah, that's a quick stance for that. <laughs> the scratches and the scratches are, are announced. A way of automating it, no, because to be honest with you, there are some times where we take it literally right up to where we go to broadcast time. I'll put a guy on the court and say, hey, can you throw it or can you not throw it? Can you get through a game? Can people confidently bet on you and you be able to run to the ball and stuff like that? And sometimes they don't get an answer until just before. That's why we consistently make it 10 minutes till. At least for the public announcement, that is. And let's see, Ernesto's here. Ernesto, welcome back. Mr. Crank, good afternoon. Thank you very much. Yes. The, the hefty, hefty bags of Coca-Cola that that man brings as a payoff just for a better seat, just to get a better seat. I mean, look, I'm easy. I, I, I do not require, it's like you were sitting three feet away, now you can sit there. There you go, thank you. That requires three 12 packs of Coke. Tiger pulling something from Dave Mates. That is Australian, isn't it? Is that what you're getting an Australian vibe from that? Then, yeah. Feeling that a little bit. All right. Hmm. You have to... Uh, he didn't strike me as Australian when I met him many years ago. That, and, for the, and, yeah. for, and, and for the record, he did never go off. He has never gone off on me. He hasn't. He's never, he's never publicly attacked me or... Yes, I think I inferred that yesterday. It's like <laughs> I said, you don't want Tiger going off on you. It's uh, no, he, he really. Does. Uh, Roland, I'm uh, not sure about prize picks for today. That, that may be. That's one of those things where we yeah. have a we have a strategic partnership with them. I've never they walked like the prize picks. Move. Someone went. I said, who are those? Who, who's who are that? Who are they? Yeah, who yeah. are they? Yeah. And someone said, I think they're the prize picks people. And I'm like, okay. And that's like the extent of it. Never been on the site. I don't. I'm sure they're lovely people. Yeah, they're great people. Good customer service. You know all that. But I'm sure they are. But as far as yeah, as far as the web, no, nope, never been on the website. Can't. That's your. That's that's why you get that spiel halfway through. Prizepicks.com today. Yeah, we got them. Well, we can find that out. But if it, if it's not up there yet, I don't know if there's anything we can do for today. But going forward, we can definitely get that for you. Rolling ass, he's a good, you know, rolling ass we try to accommodate. So. Because if we don't, he, like, vanishes for yeah. months at a time. Yeah, and then so maybe he was pulling, like, pulling teeth to get him back in the chat. But here he is, finally, at the beginning of May. How about some highlights, Stu? Let's play game number one, starting now. With that, it is time to begin game number one. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. 
Points will double after the first round of play. Serving first in the red shirt of post one, Cool Fitness. In the blue of post two, Tennessee. Here's first serve, we begin. Point one. Cool Fitness, first up on the board in our first game. That'll bring to the court the white shirt of post three. Here's number 10, Juice. Backhand by Juice. Robote left side, saved by Cool Fitness. Juice up there at the four line. Karam, stopped by Cool Fitness. Cool Fitness throws it low and hard, it's caught and dropped by Juice, point one. Entering the court, the green shirt of post four, number 30, Diaz receives. Backhand, catch by Diaz at the eight line. Karam with the light touch. Cool Fitness got there, returns it. Point one. On the board with three points, here is the black shirt of post five, El Barba. There's the backhand by El Barber, low runner. What a, nope, uh, the motion was good, good effort, but uh, you need the ball in the Cesta to throw it. Point five. In this matchup, we have El Barba serving to CRB in the yellow shirt at post six. Rebote forehand by El Barba. CRB will back up to the 10 line to make the catch. Karam scores, point six. Here's the pink shirt of post seven in this matchup. We have CRB serving to Jedden. Backhand by Jedden, thrown beautifully to the inside. Bote saved by CRB, Jen attacks. CRB, great catch, hard throw to the inside, got him. Well played by both players, point six. Six on the board with two points. In this matchup we have CRB serving to Anderluck, purple shirt of post eight. Interlock from the sixth line. Back to the inside he goes. CRB is there. Backhand. Catch by Interlock. Backhand. Robote forehand just missed. Point eight. Interlock gets the last point of the first round. All matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, blue opposed two, Tennessee. Catch by Tennessee, backhand. Here's Anderluck from the nine line to the inside. Catch by Tennessee, backhand. 
Robote left side to the outside. Tennessee chases it down, missed it, point eight. Three points for Anderluck in the purple shirt, receiving white of post three, number 10, Juice. That backhand gets away from Juice, hits the overhead screen, point eight. Possible game point for the purple shirt of post eight, Andrew Luck. Trying to stop him, green of post four, Diaz. Backhand by Diaz to the inside. Anderluck's there. Diaz with the catch. Backhand to the outside. Lands in and scores point four. Play continues. Four on the board, two points. Here's post one. Cool fitness. Catch by Diaz, there's the backhand. Catch by Cool Fitness. Diaz again. Coasty to the inside, way to the inside. Cool Fitness comes up with it. Catch by Diaz, good stop. There's the backhand, stays inside and scores. Point four, four points for Diaz in the green shirt. Here's the black shirt at post five, El Barba. Backhand by El Barba. Robote left side by Diaz. Here's El Barba midcourt. Diaz steps up to make the catch. Backhand. Ball tipped. Point four. Possible game point for the green shirt of post four. Diaz. Trying to stop him. Pink of post seven. Jedden. Catch by Diaz. Coasty takes a, a was gonna take a bounce. Point seven. Play continues. Here's post six, the yellow shirt, CRB. Jedden. Backhand. CRB Robote. Scoop attempt tipped. Point six. Six on the board with four points. Here's post two. Tennessee returns. Backhand by Tennessee. CRB's there. Backhand. Robote, thrown hard by Tennessee, right up the middle. Robote by Tennessee, hook down low, point six, possible game point for CRB. In the yellow shirt of post six. Trying to stop him, post three, Juice. Backhand by CRB passes right to the corner. Difficult rebote. Juice makes the save. Hard throw. Juice has it. Backhand. 
Scoop attempt, caught by CRB. And he scores on the return. Point in game, ladies and gentlemen. Yellow shirt of post six, CRB. Four places, eight shows. Unofficial order of finish, six, four, eight. Your prices will be up in a moment. What really keeps me focused on getting better at this is that I really believe in myself that I can really make a difference on the court and really make a difference for highlight as a sport in general. And I believe that I could be competing with the best. That's what makes me want to keep going. So I think my biggest goal is really just being better than I was last year. Um, I think that's what matters most. I think last year I had like 43 wins. So as long as I'm getting more than 43 wins next, next year, I'm, I'm gonna feel great. Oh, sorry folks, that was unprofessional, but there's CRP picking up the win in game number one. Look at these numbers for you CRP. That we have so many people listening to us. Oh man. And a few of them can actually talk to us in these in these ear things that we have. Well, the I brought two bananas in. One of them happens to be open, and I asked too if he wanted to open or close banana, and I think he made the right choice, the wise choice by going with the. Uh, I don't even know if I should have that actually. Now that I think it about looks it. fine to me. It no, does no, look I, fine. I said the closed one, then this voice came on in the back. Like, good choice, dude. Good, good choice. choice. <laughs> it's like, who, who's this? Thing? CRB. How about this triple double for CRB? Ten wins, ten places, and ten shows. If you triple double, if you will, for a basketball fan, only Why one not? on the roster with double digits in all three statistical categories there. And for those of you interested in the payoffs, we will now move on to that portion of the results. 648 is the official order of finish for game one. $2 Keenella 467320. Trifecta 648 1000. Look, we have a $1000 trifecta in the payoff in the first game and we're talking about bananas. $1,118 even. Once again, $1,118 even. Two dollar wager on six to win, $9. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, is game two. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. There are no scratches in game two. For those of you looking further down the line, Robin and Ikeda are scratched in all their scheduled appearances today. No scratches in game two, and post time is now just six minutes away. Good luck. For those of you who are not familiar with Andrew's laugh, it is, it's, I'm not going to say it's an infectious laugh, but it's, it's so genuine. What, what's the? No, it's genuine. Was I not awake? I was laughing, folks. That's why I wasn't, I was late to the punch there in the, the stats. No, no, it was just, no, you have a Ron was genuine. the time, but Ron's timing on that was it just was immaculate. Good, good choice, too. It was just quick. timing the, back yeah. here throughout amongst some of the players and, <laughs> oh, you know, man. There, there's, 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 that's not, funny. There's not really slapstick back here. It's mostly dry. Yeah, it is very dry. It's, it's, it's mostly dry wit back here. There's not a lot of, you know, one-liners and stuff like that. But. Fun. Nice place to work. Even still, I've had brisket drier than the humor back here sometimes. Well, we got six minutes to go until game number two. And for any new High Life fans that may be joining us for the first time, we'll take a look at this video that explains in simpler terms how High Life is played. The main rule of High Life is simple. Players must catch and return the ball in one fluid motion. Sounds easy enough, right? So how do you win? You can win a matchup simply if your opponent overserves, underserves, or serves the ball out of bounds. On the flip side, your opponent wins the matchup if the serve is so good that you fail to catch and return the ball to the front wall. If your opponent fails to catch the ball before it bounces twice on the ground, or if your opponent's Sesta makes contact with the ball but doesn't catch it, then, in both of those cases, you win the matchup. You can also win a matchup if the ball bounces around in your opponent's Sesta during an attempted catch. This is called juggling, and it's illegal in high line. Another way to win a matchup is if your opponent throws the ball and it lands out of bounds on its return from the wall. The overall game strategy for a highlight player is to make it difficult for an opponent to reach the ball in time or to execute a rebuttal play. And we are back here now, four minutes away from game number two. You see, I don't know why. It was a total 
See, I do this thing when I laugh, where I like breathe for like it's. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, when you laugh very <laughs> like you that, like I'm really loud. Yeah. So. And that last joke you told before we went about the brisket, too Jewish. Oh, you didn't like it. So, I, I did, yeah. but, but frankly. You know, Maybe unless not you bad. have a grandparent that would have told that joke, or a parent, or where you could like identify with that memory. If you're just sitting out there, well, watching you laugh. YouTube That's kind of all that, I was going that's for. That's why I found it funny. But some of the folks in the chat strike me as people who are. I don't that celebrate Easter, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had that dry a brisket before. Oh man. And my brisket is as dry as the Sinai. <laughs> oh, that's, that's good. That's a good line. <laughs> Oh, no, but very much awake here today. Actually, tell you what, we've had the most healthy start to a day Stu and I have ever had in our lives, which is, I think, why we've had so much energy. So important. We have a pack of Driscoll strawberries, two bananas, and a couple of clementines still in the bag. So we're going to be going all day long. So we're just getting started, folks. That beats the co Coke and Tasty Cake I usually start my day off with. So my body right now this is, is what the yeah. hell is going on? This is a different type of unprocessed. It's like a fall down two all robote from Stu this morning with this the is, body. Yeah, yeah. I think I threw one of those once yeah. when I was 16 or 17. And you still, yeah. There's a reason why. There's a reason why. I, like to, I, like, <laughs> I still feel. I, like I know it. that. I know for a fact that I've only climbed the wall with quotes around that twice. Both times, it, both times were when I was playing in the high line school. Yes. And yeah, never after that. Never. That was um, Manny, right? He threw one. Yes. Uh, yes. No. What's Last this nonsense also? going on with Ernesto? Ernesto, he hasn't stirred the pot in a while, so he's now trying to stir the pot with Diaz. And, Ernesto, I've seen your carom. You're not scaring anybody with that carom. If you're talking about a carom that's being fired by, you know, one of the back rooms here at Magic City, yeah, maybe he's a little gun shy where some of those are concerned. But if you're out there, in fact, I can see the look on Diaz's dry wit. Throwing shots. Top. Yeah, top top guy on the roster for that stuff. Strategically plays shots to he like catch it. Take it out of his cesta, bounce it on the floor, look at you, roll it back to. Player, true story. Fernandez. Eddie Fernandez. Yeah. Oh, good friend. So Eddie Fernandez had this unique ability to be able to catch any highline ball with his bare hand. At Miami <laughs> Highlight, we brought. Like a, how do you figure out your that skill? Ricardo yeah, just... Ruiz, so who played under Ricky, hard throwing backquarter at Miami Highlight. First day he came out just to show him that he wasn't all that. He was out there firing the ball at Miami Highlight. I mean, firing the ball. Yeah. Fernandez just kind of like, you know, it's like he just woke up from a nap, walks out onto the court. One of the best backquarters there. Yeah. Lines up to catch the ball. Ricky throws the heck out of the ball. Lines up to catch the ball on the left side. Takes the cest out of the way, reaches out with his left hand, catches the ball in the air, and rolls it back. Though. Wow. <laughs> apparently he that, did that. In, apparently Eddie did that. Martina. Pretty emasculating, That's isn't it? Like, <laughs> <he knocked, laughs> it's like, yeah, you think you're throwing he knocked, it hard? He knocked, here you he go. He told me that yeah. when he was young, wow. we saw Fernandez that, go to Spain and do that in Spain. Oh my just reach god. Out, just kind of like a funny thing to do in the practice. Reach out and catch. I mean, you got someone who throws the ball, you know, 120 yeah, miles an hour. I was going to say, wow. And he's lining up to catch with this Cessna, and all of a sudden puts his left hand out. Just okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> I think we've seen enough. Wow. So, yes, that's what I'm saying well, to Ernesto. That's what Diaz would do to Ernesto out here. Yeah, I would, you know, I'm not a betting man, Stu, so. But I would maybe, if that were to happen. We've got the tape on Ernesto, and it's not, it's not overwhelming tape, Ernesto. We're sorry to say, but but we do love you. But we do love you. we, we do, do love, love you. You're a great fan. We love our live chatters. But we've got game number two coming up right now. Look at that trifecta pool. There's some more big payouts coming up in this one. Time again, game number two. It is a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Serving red shirt post one is Juice receiving blue post two, Tennessee. There's a serve by Juice. We've begun. Juice on the catch. Backhand from the eight line. Robote left side by Tennessee. Juice going to back up, not usually recommended, but good effort, point two. 
Tennessee first up on the board in our second game. Here's the white shirt of post three, worn by Jedden. Backhand by Jedden. Tennessee looks for the rebote, plays it from the forehand to the outside. Jedden takes it in the air. Low and hard to the inside, beautifully thrown by Jedden, point three. In this matchup, we have Jedden serving to Cool Fitness. Ball tipped off the dropping serve, point three. Now receiving, black shirt of post five, number 30, Diaz. Backhand by Diaz, catch by Jedden. Point three. Now receiving the yellow shirt of post six, El Barba. Backhand by El Barba. Rebote forehand by Jedden. El Barba makes the catch. Rebote saved by El Bar by Jen rather El Barba, two all. Wow. Yes, you can put your hands up now. That was a really nice two all, Dennis. Very good. Now you, you do have several other points to worry about here. You got to try to finish the game. Here's the pink shirt of post seven, CRB. Backhand by El Barba. Rebote forehand by El Barba. CRB's there with a drop ball, point six. Receiving Kubala. Backhand by Kubala. Well, it comes cross court to make the catch. Good catch by El Barba. Backhand to the inside. Kubala's there. Ball tip, point eight. Here's post one, juice. Excellent serve by Kubala scores, point eight. Here's post two, Tennessee. Hard to the inside. Kubala gets there. There's the backhand. Catch by Tennessee. Robote saved by Kubala. Tennessee right to the corner. Missed the ball. Point eight. Straight points to a possible game point for the purple shirt of post eight. Kubala trying to stop him. 
Cool Fitness. Good catch by Cool Fitness Hard backhand. Cool Fitness from the 11 line. Straight back. Kubala's there. Big backhand by Kubala. Robote forehand to the inside. Kubala's there. Catch by Cool Fitness. Holds onto it and a strong backhand follows. Robote comes to the inside. Turn by Kubala. Catch by Cool Fitness. Karen by Cool Fitness is out. Point and game, a perfect game for post date Kubala. Three places, six shows. Unofficial order finish, 836. Your prices will be up in a moment. My favorite part about playing professional high lie is probably the free Gatorades and free waters. <laughs> My favorite part about being a professional high lie player, when I play, my mind is so clear. It's really the only time that I'm able to focus on just one thing. It's very exhilarating and exciting and I love exercise and I love to be competitive. It just feels like I'm finally getting to do what I want to do every day. And there is Kubala. That is his second win this week. That joins Manu and Julen, only guys with multiple wins in singles play. There's a couple doubles teams that have actually picked up multiple wins. For Kubala now, that is his sixth win to go along with 10 places in his 2022 singles season. And I will say that I do have to agree with the further conversation regarding Diaz by rolling up. He was playing much better at the beginning yeah. of the year, and he's come back. His, his, first, outing, slow, yeah. his, his yeah. first outing after our 10 days, yeah, he's missing balls, especially in that in the original doubles. He, he missed some balls that you wouldn't normally expect him to see, so to see him miss. So yeah, that's what happens. See, you, you make a bunch of progress, you start catching well and playing well. And a couple bad days, and Ernesto's there throwing you off of the boat. Okay, 8-3-6, the official order finished from game two. $2 Canelo 3 8 2360 Trifecta 8 3 6 150 80 Wage running to win 770 Up next, Game 3, and that means the beginning of the High Five for today. High Five is a Pick 5 wager. Correctly pick the winners of Games 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. If you're able to do that, do it correctly, and have the only ticket that does so, you can cash in on a minimum $2,000 guarantee here are the scratches that affect Game 3 and the High Five. Robin and Ikeda are scratched in all their scheduled appearances today. Let's run those scratches down again. Game 3, post 1, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julian. Game 3, post 1, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julian. Game 3, post 2, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Kubala. Game 3, post 2, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Kubala. Moving on to Game 4, post 1. Game 4, post 1. Scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julen. Game 5, post 3, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Diaz. Game 5, post 3, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Diaz. Game 6, post 7, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Nicholas. Game 6, post 7, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Nicholas. Game 7, post 2 in the front court, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game 7, post 2, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game 7, post 8. Scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderluck. Game seven, post eight, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderluck. That is the scratch of Robin and Ikeda as they affect the remainder of today's games. Post time for game three with its two scratches, five minutes away. Yep. Bueno picks the serve. Two all opens up wide and scores. Pitching line. 
Maron's going to take the Robote on the left side. Catch by Carballo midcourt. Ron Ron takes it in the air. Low runner to the inside, picked off by Carballo. The two all by Carballo. Ooh. Try to stop that. Robote by Douglas, it's a two all. Julian makes the stop to the outside. Hard throw, catch by Douglas, backhand. Blasted to the inside, Robote coming to the eight line, turn by Julian. Two walls, two score. Hard throw by Jed. Robote by Benny. Big bounce goes up. Stopped by Jedden. Jedden throws it hard. Benny's choosing to play the Robote. Wow, that's complicated. What a shot. Powerful backhand by Douglas. Spinner comes out to make the Robote. Forehand Robote played. Two all. Beautifully executed by Douglas. A nice backhand to the outside. Bragley. A difficult forehand Robote is made by Bragley and a good catch made by Bueno. Bueno goes deep. Robote comes out to the seven line. Two all turned by Bragley, scores. Backhand by Tennessee. Bote by Diaz, just above the pad. Tennessee's there. Scoop by Diaz, and the two wall scores. Wow, that you were the Sesta. Forehand to Benny, Douglas with the catch, backhand. It's powerful backhand. Robote comes out to the five line, turned on the forehand to Benny, wall to wall, to the outside. Douglas on the run. Makes the save, throws a two wall, wow. Backhand by Benny. Douglas looks for the Robote. Robote to the inside, thrown beautifully. Robote, two wall by Benny, my Oh my, what a shot. And folks, those were the top 10 two walls from last season here at Magic City Highlight. That takes us right up to the start of game number three and that high five for today. Good luck. Time to begin game number three. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, played seven points. Points will double after the first round of play. Serving in the red shirt of post one and substituting for the scratch robin is Julen. Receiving in the blue post two, substituting for the scratch Decada is Kubala.
There's a serve by Julian. Our third game has begun. Rebote forehand. Cleared the overhead screen. Landed out. Point two. On the court, ready to receive in the white shirt at post three, Carballo. That Karen was beautifully thrown by Kubala to score point two. Here is the green shirt at post four, worn by Bradley. Backhand by Bragley. Robote, two all to the pad, and the pad is bad. Point four. In this matchup, we have Bragley serving to the black shirt of post five, worn by Bueno. Underserve, point five. Yellow shirt of post six. Here's Anderluck. Backhand by Anderluck. a fine catch by Bueno. And a look from the left side, makes the save. <laughs> that, that was kind of cute, what just happened there. <laughs> point, 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 point six. Pink of post seven, Ben receives. Backhand by Ben. Ben on the backhand from the seven line. Doesn't overthrow it. Puts it to the backcourt. Forehand rebote by Anderluck. Catch by Ben. Anderluck advances. Catches it in the air. Powerful throw down low. Rebote saved by Ben. Anderluck takes it on the bounce. Backhand by Anderluck. Here's Ben. Scoop by Anderluck. Costalo. Rebote by Ben. Catch by Anderluck. Powerful throw to the outside. And it scores. Point six. Here now to complete the first round and receive. Wearing the purple shirt at post eight. Number 12, Run Run. Powerful forehand by Anderluck. Rebote forehand again by Anderluck. Run on makes the catch. Anderluck on the catch. There's the backhand. Rotate forehand by Ron Ron to the outside. Point eight. We've completed the first round of play. All matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the red of post one, Julin. Let's 
scoop by Ron Ron. Backhand. Hard to the inside. Julian's there. Backhand. Rebote coming out. Rebote forehand by Ron Ron. Caught by Julian. Ron Ron on the Rebote. Just missed point one. Julian with two points, serving to the white shirt of post three. Carbio returns. Backhand by Carbio. Robote by Julian to the outside. Carbio makes the catch. Powerful throw. Gets by Julian and scores point three. Three on the board with two points, two on the board with two points. Carbayo serves to Kubala. Point three. Three on the board with four points, serving to the four post. Here's Bradley. Point three, possible game point for Carballo in the white of post three. Trying to stop him in the black of post five, Bueno. Excellent catch by Bueno off a good serve by Carballo. Powerful backhand, Robote coming out. Scoop by Bueno. Hooked and hitting the pad. The pad is bad. Point five. Play continues. Five on the board with three points. Here is post seven in the pink shirt. We have Ben. Backhand by Ben. Point five. Possible game point for the black shirt of post five. Bueno trying to stop him post six. And look. Backhand by Anderluck. Point in game, post five, Bueno. Five wins it, three places. One, two, and six will play off for third place. One first serves to two. Julian reads the rebote well, puts it back with a light touch. Kubala on the run, cannot make the play, point one. <laughs> Possible show point. And laughter and hilarity ensued. You have to serve the ball now. One on the board with four points here is post six, Anderluck. Big right side by Anderluck. Robote comes to the side wall. Julian makes the save. Good catch by Anderluck. Backhand on the seven line. Robote left side. Anderluck on the catch. Outside placement. Stopped by Julian. Julian's forehand caught by Anderluck. Backhand by Anderluck. Not overthrown. Catch by Anderluck. Hard throw to the inside. Julian's there. Backhand. Catch by Anderluck at the 10 line. Powerful forehand caught by Julian. Backhand. Ball tipped. Point six. 
We'll turn them around now. Anderluck serves to Julian. This is for show. What a catch, what an attempted catch. Excellent serve by Anderluck scores. Point in a third place finish for Anderluck. Yellow shirt of post six. Unofficial order finish, five, three, six. Prices will be up in a moment. I think highlight's a beautiful game. My favorite part of playing highlight would be that I get to compete. I get to come into a facility with other competitors that are trying their hardest. Win or lose, you feel a sense of, uh, of accomplishment at the end of the day. When I was 15 years old and I was the ball boy, I didn't believe in myself that I could do it. This is a dream come true. First thing I do when I open my locker every day and I pull out my sister is I give my sister a kiss. It's not a ritual. I don't kiss my sister because it's a ritual. I kiss it because I sincerely love it. <laughs> it helps me win money. I tell you, we're gonna have a good day today, beautiful. I always tell these guys, they get mad and they scream at the sister, they scream at the boy. I said, listen, bro, if you're not nice to her, she's not gonna win you any money, man. Yeah, be nice to her. <laughs> this opportunity has helped me believe in myself to become a professional highlight player. So my goal is to get above a, a 150 win percentage and above 400 in the money percentage. So that means when you open up the program, it should say, Chris Bueno, win percentage, 150 or better, and in the money percentage, 400 or better. The strongest skill that I have in this game is that I don't let it frustrate me. I'm gonna finish every game that I get possible game point. And there is Bueno picking up a big win there in game number three out of the five post. That breaks a tie with Gocheri, so Bueno now moves up to solo second place in those single standings. Been quite the season for him. 16 wins, seven places, and 11 shows for Bueno thus far. 5-3-6, the official order of finish for our third game. Two dollar Quinella, 3-5, $21. Trifecta, 5-3-6, $7-61-80. Taylor Wager on five to win, 15.80. Up next, game four, a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. There is a scratch, game four, post one. Scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julian. Game one, post, game four, post one. Scratch Robin, replace Robin with Julian. Post time for game four, six minutes, good luck. You're a sportsman, aren't you? Sort of. You like highlight? I like the way it's spelled. Me too. Yeah, with a J. How did yeah. that get in there? I can handle your workload without any help. Andy Glam, former J. Crew employee. <laughs> Dr. Dante Octavarius, seahorse breeder. Shunk Dunkirk, Incontinent High Lie Instructor. Incontinent High Lie Instructor? Incontinent High Lie Instructor. All right, I'm calling it. I'm trying out a new persona. I'm club owner and High Lie enthusiast, Barry Mexico. What a fun and lazy character name. Is it your first thought? You know it. Barry Mexico gets down to business. And we are back here now, just about five minutes away from game number four. Look out, there is one scratch post one. Scratch Robin, replace him with Julian again. You know, Ernesto asked a very good question. He wanted to know if the players have any say in what goes into the top 10. Ernesto, the players are essential to the top 10 list. For without the players, there would be no top 10. Long story short, what they do is they, they do what they do on the court. And then Andrew basically sits there and he goes through all the footage. Occasionally, occasionally, I'll look over to my left. It's always good to see Andrew there. Like when Andrew, Andrew's about to take a vacation here soon, right? It's in June. Well, the beginning of June, full it, month. I mean, we got 30 in. It, it makes me anxious. 
It makes me anxious. I'm sorry. When, I, when I'm here and I don't see you, back when we're going through that whole COVID thing and I wasn't here, then you, you know, whatever. Yeah, that yeah, was. It's, yeah, it's, we weren't here. Just yeah, I like seeing it. it makes 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 me feel Likewise, better. Likewise, sure. So occasionally yeah. I look to my left and I went, hey, mark that down. Yeah, absolutely. Usually I'd say probably well, we five, maybe two, three times a week. Maybe that happens. Yeah. But then he'll incorporate that, and then he goes back and he goes through, and he'll have his top ten two walls, top ten rebotes, top ten whatever. And that is created entirely in that three pound space between his ears. <laughs> and and that's how it's generated. So no, no, the players don't go, hey, I think that should be in a top ten. What is neat though, I will say this, is that so we don't have traditional scoreboards. We don't have tote boards here at Magic City. So there's right. there is no tote board here. So we use the television screens. So the players, literally above the players' cage, you'll occasionally see them looking up if you can see back into the yeah. cage. And they're looking up at, what is that, like a 55? There's like a 55 inch or 50 something. Yeah, right in front of that bench. And basically, the reason why that's there is so that they can see the rotation. Because players do need to be able to see the rotation, make sure that they're in proper rotational order. Player manager needs to be able to see it. I need to be able to see it. But it also shows the content in between game so when a new top 10 goes up is to see the look on there as as they're the guys who aren't on the court yet to see them look up and watch it for the first time and yeah it's that's fun that yeah, is for me too to that's see fun. that it you know means something it's to them at the very least so Absolutely. That, that is good to see but asking about some new top 10s i know we got a lot of new players that have just made incredible plays from that february through april and we just took a week off so went through those got all that footage scrubbed and coded and all that so you should be Seeing some new plays coming very soon with these new faces on the roster. And some of the best, I mean, they just keep getting better and better each year, Stu. I mean, dating back to 2020, I think the first year we did them. Some Robotes, Caroms, two walls, and then each month, a couple months. But now there's just so many good plays that pretty much every guy can honestly have their own, like, top, maybe not top 10, like a top eight, top seven plays. The superb Siete. Yeah, there you go. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No, that's a distant relative of the mighty Ocho. You're, you're yeah. messing with Scott's territory. Scott yeah, likes to come up with those special, you know, the mighty Ocho. And yeah, it's a distant. It's, a, it's in the family. No, Unc Uncle Moe's there as well. You're not. You're not yeah. qualified. I'm just. You, you, you just. It comes with time. I know that's the most frustrating thing about being young. It is. Is yeah. having older it's people basically say to you, "I'm sorry, your opinion doesn't matter simply because you haven't had enough life experience," which is awful. It's awful, and I feel bad <laughs> saying that. Yeah. But I had to go through it, and I was no, always I right then, too, just like now. And it was very frustrating. That's not shocking. No. No. <laughs> Actually, it was a, it was a strangely, I don't even know what you would call it. I had this weird kind of intelligence when I was there. Oh, it'll come as a shock. Well, as you said, you were always around adults, so yeah. an advanced humor, just kind of always in those adult yeah. situations. Yeah. yeah. Too many. <laughs> so you think that's where it all started, Stu? <laughs> you think that's where it all went? Oh no, I've, I've yeah. done this in multiple therapy sessions oh, over no. the years, and yeah, no, no, no. There's no question about it. No, my, my parents are wonderful people. They really are. I, I adore my parents. Parenting. <laughs> it was the '70s. Who knew? <laughs> people still questioning Dr. Spock's book. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Pass the cigarettes. <laughs> Time to begin game number four. It is a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Serving in the red shirt of post one is Julian. He's substituting for Robin, receiving the blue of post two, Bueno. Julian serves. Our fourth game has now begun. Robote forehand by Julian. Bueno's there. Backhand by Bueno. Robote left side by Julian. Here's Bueno at the 11 line on the forehand. Hard throw caught in the air by Julian. Robote left side by Julian. Here's Bueno. Bueno to the inside. Julian is there.
Julian comes out to make the Robote play. Scoop by Julian. There's the backhand. Robote two all. Beautifully executed by Bueno to score with authority. Point two. Here's the white shirt to post three. Benny. Rote forehand by Bueno, well thrown back to the inside. Benny makes the save. Bueno advances at the four line, low and hard to the inside. Benny gets in there to make the Robote save. It's to the outside and out of play. Point two. Green sure to post four. Here's Ben. Point two. Here is the black shirt of post five worn by Bragley. Point two. Two on the board with four points. Here's post six. Run, run. Backhand by Ron Ron. Scoop by Ron Ron. Scoop by Ron Ron again. Point six. Now receiving pink up post seven, Kubala. <laughs> Back <laughs> by Kubala. There's the forehand by Kubala. Backhand by Kubala. Point six. Purple shirt of post eight receiving Nicholas. Rote forehand by Ron Ron, catch by Nicholas, backhand. That forehand Rote gets away from Ron Ron. Point eight. Nicholas gets the last point of the first round. All matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the red of post one, Julin. Backhand by Julian, hard throw to the inside. Bote forehand, saved by Nicholas. Nicholas, backhand. Bote left side by Julian. Nicholas makes the catch. Powerful throw, Julian's there, backhand. Point eight. 
Eight on the board with three points. Serving to the three post in the white shirt, Benny returns. Backhand by Benny. Catch by Nicholas. Here's the backhand. Beautifully thrown. Nice rebote save by Benny. Nicholas with a tip ball, point three. Green shirt of post four is Ben. Backhand by Ben. Rotate left side by Benny. Ben's there. Ben to the inside. Scoop missed. Point four. In this matchup, we have Ben serving to Bragley, who wears the black shirt of post five. Ben makes the catch at the 10 line, forehand to the inside. Bragley's there. Good catch by Ben. Backhand. Here's Bragley. Ooh, 0.5. Receiving, blue post two, bueno. Point two. Possible game point for the blue shirt of post two. Bueno trying to stop him. Kubala. Backhand by Kubala. Rebote forehand by Bueno. Kubala's there. Rebote by Bueno again. Kubala, Rebote to the inside. Bueno's there. Kubala takes it in the air, backhand. Forehand Rebote by Bueno. Kubala moves up. Two all. Stopped by Bueno. Went on the hard return. Stopped but not held on to by Kubala. Point and game to the blue post two, Bueno. Two wins at eight places, six, three, four, and five. Pair off and playoff for third place, six first serves, two, three. Backhand by Benny. Rotate left side, it's two all. Stopped by Ron Ron. Ron Ron to the inside, low and hard. Two bounces before the rebote was thrown. Point six. Four serves to five. The winner of this point meets six in the continuing playoff for show. Backhand by Ben into the pad, and the pad is bad, point five. Six serves to five, this is for third place.
Bragley strong rebote. Round around to the inside. Bragley gets assessed on it and gets it off beautifully. Here's Ron Ron. Rebote by Bragley. Catch by Ron Ron. Karen by Ron Ron. Score. Six shows. Unofficial order finished. Two eight six. Results from game four are official. Coming in first post two, Bueno taking second post eight, Nicholas. Coming in third post six, Ron Ron. 286 is the official order of finish. And Mr. Shanahan asks a question regarding attendance. Yes, we are only open to the public on Sundays. And yes, there has been declining interest in seeing and betting on High Lie been occurring over the past many, many years. I'm taking for granted that you're familiar with the recent history of High Life. So we have turned it into, coming out of COVID, when we were limited, we decided to turn it into an event. So we make it available once a week and open it up to the public and have some really good promotions and everything else that we do well here live for those who choose to attend live. But I mean, look, even Ernesto, Ernesto could come out here. He's got other things to do. That's what happened to Highlight. Well, people want to know what happened. Why aren't there 2,000 people there like there used to be? Why aren't there 15,000 people? Because like people started having other things to do. 286, the official order of finish before I go off on that. $2 wager on two to win, $25.80. Taylor Quinella, $2838.80. Tripod to 286, $370.20. Early pick three, eight, five, two, three of three numbers returning, four, 53, 80. Up next, the first of our two doubles games, a spectacular seven. Doubles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play, post time for game five. Is just over six minutes away. Don't forget to scratch game five, post three. Scratch Robin, replace Robin with a Diaz. Well, folks, in addition to the free-to-play Fantasy Highlight Contest over at FantasyHighlight.com that is run by myself and the Highlight Channel, you can play along most days with some daily Fantasy Highlight exclusively at prize picks. Maybe not today, but most days we'll get that figured out. Oh, you're <laughs> ad-libbing. Yeah, we're ad-libbing. Oh. Well, you know, I didn't wow. want to say every day because that would not be truthful. So we'll, right. we'll get that situated, folks. Take advantage of their special incentives today. Right now for signing up, just go to prizepicks.com and type hi, that is J-A-I, into the referral code field when you do sign up. But if you make a $100 deposit in your betting funds, prize picks will match it. And put another 100 into your account just like that. Just like that. All you have to do is send us a picture of your computer or phone screen as proof that you use that referral code hi at sign up. If you do all that, you'll automatically qualify to get a double cash prize when you win a week of the Highlight Channel's Fantasy Highlight game over at fantasyhighlight.com in the 2022 season. It's as simple as that, Stu. Just sign up at Prize Picks. Use that referral code high at sign up. Most importantly, make sure to take a picture of that sign up page where we can see the referral code field with the word high typed in. That's going to be the screen before you click to submit your sign up. Send that photo to info at the and that photo only. Do all that. You qualify to get that double cash prize plus that $100 bonus deposit match to get you started on Prize Picks. Stu, it's a win-win there. Sign up at Prize Picks at his prize P I C K S dot com today. And for those of you that are playing along with that fantasy highlight contest over at fantasyhighlight.com, scores are updated for I believe it is week number 10 this week. 
10th Fantasy Week. Uh, nobody is perfect through the first two days, so that $1,500 top prize, not going out this week, but still $100 per week split amongst as many winners as there are. Well, game number five is starting in just a few moments here, about four minutes. There is one scratch, post three. Scratch Robin in the front court, replace him with Diaz. The three team is now Diaz and Ben. Can you ask G's to get me a Coke, please? You know how, like, you can legitimately slide and roll over to get a Coke. Like, you don't even have, you have to take off your headset. That's the only thing. All right. Lost to does that. Be a good time to remind you of some of those double standings here. Began this second doubles tournament of the season. Before our break, there were a couple games that counted before the break. Now we began this week with our first full week. And the wins are not very spread out thus far. Three wins for the team of Inaki in Tennessee. Hello, that's more than they had in the first doubles tournament already through just eight games played. Three wins, one place, and one show. Mainly Inaki, I, someone made a comment earlier about his play. He has taken it up a couple of notches here to begin this May season, and boy, that doubles team has really reaped the benefits of that as well. Three wins, El Barbun, Ron Ron, and Jedden and Nicholas. Also with multiple wins, two wins for both of those teams, and then everybody else Still searching for win number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine other teams looking for that first win. So that means there are 12 total teams competing in this doubles tournament. I really thought that little refrigerator I just bought as an impulse buy. So it holds, it holds 12 cans of soda or whatever you want to choose, right? 12? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, yeah, yeah. sorry. I can't. So it, I Math, thought, I thought yeah. it was because, you know, when you think refrigerator, anything other than like a refrigerator refrigerator doesn't refrigerate. That's yeah. just always kind of been my opinion of things. This works pretty well. Well, this is the, the Frigidaire, I believe, or is it a? I'm sure that's just the name that they throw on the front of it, but that's the name that's that was the brand. the box. That was yeah. the brand. Yeah. But no, it's like this little, and it comes with a car adapter. And I'm going to say, this is one of the best, as you said, like mobile little fridges I've ever seen. It yeah. gets cold. Those Cokes yeah, are freezing. Now you have to keep them in overnight. I mean, you have to, oh, I mean, it's, it's like, not like you put it in like an hour later. It's like, hey, this is good to go. But no, but, but once they stay in there, that's fine. That's how I always know when someone's been thieving for me. <laughs> the I come in, exactly. The mountains aren't blue on the Coke, yeah. Who's been in here? Yeah. But... What did V do? V took one and she replaced <laughs> We're it with 12. just going with names, yeah. V took one, she replaced it with 12, and I thought that was very sweet. I did. I thank her. That's a, that's a deal that you can get behind. That's Every it. time someone takes one, you get a fresh pack of uh, Absolutely. Fresh. Absolutely. Because it's just like the Incredible Hulk. You don't, you don't want to be around me when I haven't had my Coca-Cola. With that, folks, let's play some doubles. Game number five. Time to begin game five, or as we call it around here, Dodging Death One. This is a spectacular seven doubles match, part of the doubles championship series here at Magic City High Live. Up first and serving in the red shirts of Post One, team of Jedden and Nicholas, receiving in the blue of Post Two, Cool Fitness and Arats. There's the serve. Game five has begun. Catch by Nicholas. Backhand. Aratz is there. Backhand by Nicholas. Here's Aratz. Excellent catch by Arats at the Ting line. Jedden's there. Backhand. Nicholas on the forehand. Karam. 
Cool Fitness was there, but could not stop it. Point one. That'll bring to the court the white shirts of post three. In the front court, substituting for the scratched Robin is Diaz. In the back court, Ben. Diaz picks the serve, soft touch, will score, point three. In this matchup, three serves to the green shirts of post four CRBN Douglas. Backhand by Douglas. Rotate left side by Diaz. Kicks to the inside. Here's Douglas. Ben on the rebote from the eight line. Douglas is there. Splitter scores, point four. That'll bring to the court the black shirts of post five. CRB will now serve to Andrew Luck and Benny. Out. Point four. Here are the yellow shirts of post six, Inaki and Tennessee. Inaki picks the serve. There's the backhand. Rebote coming out. Rebote by CRB to the inside. Inaki picks it up. Drop shot. CRB gets there. There's the backhand. Rebote coming out. Inaki on the Rebote. Splitter. Caught by Douglas. Douglas, powerful forehand. Caught by Inaki. There's the backhand. Here's Douglas from the 12 line. Backhand. Inaki's there. Rebote forehand by CRB, Inaki, backhand. That goes to the overhead screen, which is out of play, point six. Inaki takes over the serve here. Receiving pink shirts of post seven, the team of Juice and Manu. Rebote forehand by Inaki makes the rebote. Here's Manu from the 12 line. Backhand by Tennessee. Manu's there. Backhand. Rebote left side by Inaki. Manu's there. Here's a catch by Tennessee, backhand from the 11 line. Everyone duck. Point seven. Purple shirts, uh, post eight receive. Bueno and Julian. Catch by Juice, backhand. Here's Julian. Manu. Backhand from the 11 line, Rebote coming out. Bueno on the Rebote.
Rebote left side, catch by Bueno. Juggling on the catch by Bueno, point seven. We've completed the first round of play. All matchups are worth two points now through the end of the game. First to return, the Blue Opposed 2, Cool Fitness, and Arats. Backhand by Arats. Manu is there. What a catch by Arats in the corner. Backhand carries, clears the overhead screen. Manu on the rebote. Arats calls for it, catches it on the forehand. Drop shot. Manu on the run, just missed it. Well thrown, point two. In this matchup, Cool Fitness is serving to the Red Shirts post one, Jedden and Nicholas. Backhand by Nicholas goes wall to wall. Rebote forehand by Cool Fitness, catch by Nicholas. Karam stopped by Cool Fitness, hard throw by Cool Fitness. Nicholas, that's a difficult rebote, he makes a beautiful save. Here's that outs from the nine line. Powerful forehand, rebote coming out to Jedden at the side wall. Tough play, ball short. Good effort, point two. Two on the board with four points, returning. White shirts post three, Diaz and Ben. Two all by Ben, stopped by Cool Fitness. Cool Fitness's return, stopped and dropped. Point two. Possible game point, blue shirts of post two, Cool Fitness and Arats, trying to stop them. Anderluck and Benny. Rebote forehand by Cool Fitness. Analog saves the Rebote. Arats moves in. Backhand. Catch by Benny at the 13 line. On Karam. Arats calls for it. Oh, it has a drop. Point five. Five on the board with two points. Here's post four as play continues. CRB and Douglas. Backhand by Douglas. Robote coming out. Douglas calls for their bote, plays it hard, but a little too hard. That hits the overhead screen, point five. Four points for the five post. Here are the yellow shirts of post six, Enochian, in Tennessee. Inaki picks a serve. Excellent catch by Benny. Sidearm Karen by Benny will score. Wow, 0.5. Possible game point for the Black Shirts post five. Anderluck and Benny trying to stop them. The team of Bueno and Julen.
powerful forehand by Julen goes wall to wall. Bote forehand by Interlock to the 10 line. Julen's there. Here's Benny, backhand from the 11 line. Julen now from the 11 line on the forehand. Interlock midcourt, right side. Blast it to the inside, Julen with the catch. Robote forehand by Anderluck. Here's Julen, backhand. Powerfully thrown ball by Benny will score for the win. Point and game, black shirts of post five. Anderluck and Benny, that's right folks, they got a win. Good for them. Two places, seven serves to four. This is for third place. Backhand by Douglas. Rebote. Out. Point and a third place finish for post four. <laughs> CRB and Douglas. 5 2 4, the official order of finish for game number five. Wow. Winning game five, post five, Anderluck and Benny taking second post two, Cool Fitness and Arats coming in third, post four, CRB and Douglas. And I wasn't being I wasn't being a wise ass there. The truth of the matter is that they're a good team. They just need to find their rhythm in terms of playing with each other. Two dollar Keenella two five seventy four forty. Trifecta five two four two fifty eight sixty. Two dollar wager on five to win, thirteen dollars. Up next, game six, a spectacular seven singles match. Play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. There's a scratch. Game six, post seven. Scratchy Keda, replace Keda with Nicholas. Game six, post seven. Scratchy Keda, replace Keda with Nicholas. Post time for game six. Seven minutes away. Good luck. Karam opens up and scores. What a beautiful throw by Anderluck. Carballo, backhand from the 11 line. Passes to the Rebote. Rebote left side, it's a two all. That is beautifully, oh, I mean beautifully. Win executed by Kubala. Backhand by Douglas, hard to the corner. Bote forehand by Ikeda, caught by Douglas at the nine line. Pika, big bounce goes up, so does Ikeda. He comes down with the ball. Picks the serve, Costado to the outside, scores. <laughs> Diaz makes the catch, Costado to, wow! Oh, when he does it, he does it well. Backhand by Ron Ron. Oh. 
Cavote forehand outside placement snapped by Ron Ron. Backhand by Douglas. Cavote forehand by Ron Ron. Rifled, scooped up by Douglas. Costalo two all by Douglas. Wow. Say <laughs> forehand save by Anderluck. Here's Carbio from the seven line. Powerful backhand goes low. Robote comes out. Anderluck's there. Scoop by Carbio. Very fancy, Carbio. Anderluck was there, but could not bring it in. Backhand by Tennessee. Powerful backhand by Tennessee. Bote. Turned by Ben at the seven line. Tennessee winds up. Wow. Rotate forehand by Ron Ron. Catch by Carbio. Backhand. Rotate by Ron Ron. Carbio diving one-handed save. That was legit. And folks, there were the top 10 plays from May. Yeah, that's the month we're in. May of 2021, last year. This time right here at Magic City High Live. Here, I'm gonna hand these back to you because I'm, I really. Our bodies don't know what to do. No, I, we always we, have some type of chips or some type of crap that, you know, is unhealthy but tastes good. Yeah. And today you walk in with fruit, fresh fruit, strawberries and bananas. Why well, should well, let the folks know? I mean, I'm, I'm committed to this. This is a workout, not a workout, a workout plan, weight loss plan. You don't need to lose weight. You look no, I, you, you know, you got to recognize if you feel, you know, it wasn't feeling good. So, so it's, it's not a bad feel. thing. It's, it's, I didn't see it. It's, it's based no. on how you feel. It's not. It's, it's so not something that I actively decided to do. So I brought I, some fruit. And I, I felt bad about the comment yesterday about the bad angle. I, oh, no. No, the timing was good. Yeah, you no, really can't. Yeah. No, the timing not, was good. But obviously, you know, it didn't come from an ugly place. I'm not offended because usually I'm saying something worse about myself, the both of us, no, than anyone else would say. Anyone yeah. who can't engage in self-deprecating humor. I mean, if you don't get the concept, I understand that. I'm not saying everybody sure. has to have a concept yeah. for it. Yeah. But it's like you have to be able to look at your shortcomings. And, well, I have no shortcomings. Therefore, I cannot engage in self-deprecating. Well, then you're just an asshole. So, <laughs> so I brought in... Strawberries, bananas, clementines. I got pineapple. That'll be next week. Next week. Oh yeah, that's right. Because we're not tomorrow. we're not going to yeah. be here tomorrow. Any other fruits you like? Because I if you like it, fruit. and that's... I bring it in, do you get this at a fruit stand or something? Yeah, just Publix, man. Really? Yeah. Publix has things like this, do they? <laughs> I did. <laughs> I've only been in the, the red wine section and the prepared foods. I, yeah, I didn't I, know they had I, strawberries I, I didn't know they, and fruit. I didn't know. I thought you had to go to a green grocer for these type of things. There's a lot of those farmer's market type places oh, here in downtown? South Florida. Yeah. Downtown, yeah, absolutely. All across here. Been to those, but now this is, yeah, this is Driscoll's. This is big big brand strawberry here. Interesting. So, That's yeah. right. Good good day for us. Well, we got to brag about a bit. big yeah. strawberry. Big Pharma, Big, big Strawberry. Pharma, big Let's play <laughs> some highlights. Game number six. Time to begin game number six. It is a spectacular seven. Singles match, play to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. 
Serving in the red shirt of post one is Manu. Receiving in the blue of post two, Inaki. There's the backhand. Backhand by Manu to the inside. Robote not coming out, point one. Here is the white shirt of post three, worn by Carballo. Backhand by Carballo. Robote, Carballo reaches way up. That's like a Bragley reach. To all, Carballo got there. <laughs> Be careful in the cage. That's a dangerous place, point three. Here's Douglas, the green shirt of post four receives. Backhand by Douglas. Robote forehand by Carballo. Douglas takes it on the bounce. Robote two all fired. Stopped by Carballo. Carballo's forehand stopped by Douglas. Backhand by Douglas to the inside. Robote by Carballo. Douglas is there. Backhand. To all, stopped by Douglas. Douglas did a beautiful job putting that back in to score. That was a really well played point by Carballo and Douglas. Point four. Black shirt at post five receives. Here's Goschetti. Backhand by Goschetti. Catch by Douglas. Robote by Goschetti. Scoop by Douglas. To all scores, point five. In this matchup, we have Goschetti serving to the yellow shirt of post six, worn by Aratz. Rots makes the catch. Here's the backhand from the Teng line. Backhand by Gocheri. Robote forehand by Arats. Gocheri makes the catch. Backhand. Low and hard to the inside. Arats is there. He makes the save. Gocheri from the four line. Rifles it to score. Point five. Here is the pink shirt of post seven worn by Nicholas. <laughs> Robote forehand by Nicholas. Gochetti looks for the Robote, has it on the left side. To the inside it goes. Here's Nicholas. Fine catch and a nice return. Two all, scores. Point seven.
Here's post eight, purple shirt, Julen. Catch by Nicholas, backhand from the nine line. Coastie to the inside, stopped nicely by Julen. Here's the backhand. Robote left side by Julen. Scoop by Nicholas. Hard throw. Scoop, tip, point seven. Here's the blue post two, Inaki. Robote by Nicholas to the inside. Backhand by Inaki. Robote to the inside, catch by Nicholas. Backhand. Robote forehand. Karam by Naki scores. Well thrown, point two. Two is serving the red shirt of post one. What's going on out there? It seems inappropriate. Here, here's Manu. Here's the catch by Manu. Backhand from the 11 line. Robote forehand by Nyaki. Manu is there. Oh, trying to thread the needle, hit the pad, point two. Four points for Inaki in the blue post two. Here is Carbayo. Backhand by Carbayo. Robote forehand, Robote left side rather. Juggling on the catch of Inaki. Ball must be caught and stopped. Point three. Here's post four, the green shirt, Douglas. What a catch by Douglas off a beautiful serve by Carbayo. Robote left side by Douglas, stays to the inside. Carbayo's on it. Robote forehand by Douglas. Carbayo with a catch. Catch by Douglas, backhand. Powerfully thrown right to the corner, out to the Robote. Carbayo makes the save. Douglas on the catch, backhand, not overthrown. That touched the overhead screen. Point three. Possible game point for the white shirt of post three, Carbayo. Trying to stop him, Arats.
Beautiful serve by Carballo. Great catch and return by Arats. Robote by Arats. Arats takes off. Just missed the Robote. Ah, that doesn't quite count. Point in game, ladies and gentlemen, of the white shirt of post three. Carballo. Gray wins it, two places, five serves to seven. To say playoff for third place. Backhand by Nicholas. Scoop by Nicholas. Powerful throw. Will score. Point and a third place finish for post seven. Nicholas, unofficial order finish, three, two, seven. Your price will be up in a moment. My goal going into this season is probably just um, playing a little bit more calmer. And also another thing I want to work on is uh, not beating myself. You know, just do the, just do, do simple better. You know, just catch the ball, throw the ball one more time than my opponent. And don't make any unforced errors. I mean, I have a mantra that I tell myself all the time where, you know, if you're not getting better, you're getting worse. I mean, that's literally what it comes down to. Honestly, my favorite thing about Highlight is just the speed of the sport. My intensity on a scale of one to 10, I think it's about 2,000. And that is your singles leader at the moment, Mr. Michael Carballo, just adding one there in the late games as well. 21st win this season to go along with 16 places. Wow, his 37 top two finishes are eight more than the next closest guy on the roster. That's Go Cherry. Opened up a four game lead over Bueno now. Also, Inaki coming in second that game. He's played great all week long. Singles, doubles, H2H. First in the money finish in these Pelota singles here this week. So good for him as well. 3 2 7, the official order of finish for game number six. $2 Canelo, 2 3, 38 20. Trifecta, 3 2 7, 4 74 20. $2 wager on three to win, 1740. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, game seven, the second of our two doubles games. A spectacular seven. Doubles match, played to seven points. Points double after the first round of play. Two scratches in game seven. Game seven, post two, scratch Ikeda in the front court, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game seven, post eight, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderluck. Game seven, post two, scratch Ikeda, replace Ikeda with Juice. Game seven, post eight, scratch Robin, replace Robin with Anderluck. Post time, now just over six minutes away. Good luck. So, gazing as I do occasionally upon the chat, once again, thank you all for joining us. Mr. Kelly, not really a gambler, so the betting is a bit esoteric for me. Love the word esoteric. That is, wow. No, love it. Seriously, that love is. Love it. It's good to see it in our chat. This is a sophisticated sports chat. It is. And you're right, highlight really isn't isn't hard to understand how the play works on the court. Sometimes the rotation of the players in, in these Keenellos where we have eight post positions, sometimes that gets a little confusing for people. One of the more difficult things to explain. If you're enjoying, uh, we encourage you to join us at watchhighlight.com or download the Highlight app. That's not just for you, Brian. That's really for anybody. Uh, because at 5 p.m., a more simplified version of Highlight is played, which is really head-to-head, H2H. And that's one-on-one. -on -one. Whether we're playing singles or doubles, Dave will be playing singles. So we don't have that pesky rotation of numbers to create trifectas and quinellas involved. Yeah. But yeah, as far as the play is concerned, it's, it really is. The lines on the ground you know, will tell you everything that you need to know. Ball can bounce once on the floor. Comes off the back ball, has to be caught and thrown one fluid motion. Apart from that, it's a game of inches. Try to put the ball where your opponent can't get to it. 